Hello, I'm Victoria. I'm a vet and a dairy farmer from just outside St. Bees in Cumbria. This is my son James, enjoying a glass of milk. Milk is one of nature's superfoods. It contains protein, calcium, and lots of vitamins we need for growth and healthy development. So today we're going to learn how a cow can convert grass or silage into milk that we all like to put on our cereal or in our cup of tea. Cows are herbivores, which means their main food is plant material, and this usually consists of grass. During the lovely dry summer months, cows are able to graze outside and enjoy eating fresh grass from the fields. During winter, the weather isn't so great and cows don't like to be outside. In the summer, we have to conserve some grass for them to eat during the winter months. This process is called silaging. The first stage in silaging is to cut the grass when it's at its peak with the most amount of sugar and nutrients available for the cow. The next step is to row the grass into big, long, straight rows so that it's easier for the forage harvester to collect the grass and cut it up as it goes along. The chopped grass is collected in the trailers with care being taken to make sure every last bit is picked up for the cows. The chopped grass arrives back at the farm and is tipped out in front of the large building, which is also called a silage pit. Another tractor with a buck rake attached, which is basically like a giant fork, put, takes the chopped grass and puts it into the silage pit, compacting it down as much as possible to remove as much air as it can. At the end of the process, a large sheet is put over the grass to allow it to ferment for the winter months. After a couple of months of fermentation, the grass is now ready to be fed to the cows as silage. Here it is being loaded into a giant mixer. Here, silage is mixed with other ingredients such as grain to make a lovely tasty meal for the cows. They can eat 40 to 60 kilos every day, that's a lot. Let's have a look at how cows digest their food. I think cows are pretty amazing. Cows can convert grass into milk, mainly thanks to their clever digestive system. They are known as ruminants, as they have four stomachs, unlike us who have only one. Food passes down the esophagus into their first stomach, known as the reticulum. This stomach is a sort of filter to prevent debris getting any further into their tract. Stomach number two is the rumen and the largest of all the stomachs. In the rumen, the fibrous grass or silage is broken down by microbes which live in the liquid inside this stomach. These microbes are very important to the cow and to ensure that they can work at their best she eats several small meals a day. The energy produced in the rumen is the energy that drives the production of milk. Food then passes from the rumen into the third stomach, the omasum, where water is absorbed, which is about the size of a football. Food then passes to the fourth stomach, the abomasum, or the true stomach of the cow, which is the one most similar to that of humans. Food then passes onwards to the intestines, where energy from here is absorbed to feed the cow herself. Finally, it passes out the other end as poo. Cows are very busy creatures. They spend six to seven hours of their day eating. They need to eat 66 megajoules of energy every day which is equivalent to you and me eating 367 cream eggs. Now that's a lot of chocolate. 
they spend most of their time lying down, about 13 hours a day. During this time, they chew the cud or ruminate, as you can see this cheeky cow doing here. This allows them to maximize the amount of energy they can produce from the grass or silage they eat. The rest of their day is filled with other activities, such as drinking, going to get milked, or just plain old socializing. They like to be together and they have a hierarchy of friends and who's in charge. This is the cubicle shed where the cows eat, sleep and get milked. They have a curtain which allows them to enjoy the sunshine and the nice weather. And when it's cold and wet in winter, the, the curtain is up to protect them from the elements. I think our cows have the best view in Cumbria. The cows have a bed each, which is called a cubicle. These have to be comfortable and dry. This cow is wearing a special necklace called an activity collar. This allows us to track their behavior and what they're up to at all times. Happy, healthy cows can produce anywhere from 6,000 litres to 13,000 litres of milk each year. That's a lot of cups of tea. In order to produce milk, a cow has to have a calf every year. These are our baby calves, enjoying playing together and having lots of fun, just like you all do in the playground at school. When they're hungry, they can feed themselves at this automatic milk station. Yum, yum. This is our milking parlor. Traditionally, cows are milked in a milking parlor two to three times every day. The first step is preparation of the cow. The teats are carefully wiped to ensure they're very clean. The next step is to apply the milking unit, also known as the cluster, to the udder of the cow. The cluster uses vacuum to remove the milk for the cow, which is then transported to special pipes where it is cooled and stored in the silo. After the cows are milked, the teats get disinfected and the cluster gets washed before being applied to the next cow in. On our farm, we also have four robots which help us to milk the cows. These allow cows to pick and choose when they want to get milk themselves. The robot uses a laser and a camera to clean the teats and then attach the cluster to each teat. At the end of milking, the teats are disinfected and the cow leaves, waiting for the next cow to come in. Each cow takes about seven to eight minutes to get milked and usually come to get milk three times a day. Whilst in the robot, they get special biscuits as an extra treat. Once the cow has been milked in the robot, the milk is transferred through these long pipes across to two tanks on the other side of the yard. These tanks stir and cool the milk to about four degrees C. This silo holds 30,000 litres of milk or 7,500 four pint cartons. Milk is collected from the farm in a tanker and taken to the factory for processing. Here it can be used for liquid milk for your cereal or tea or made into yogurt, cheese or used as an ingredient in other foods. I hope you enjoyed learning where milk comes from and think that cows are as amazing as I do. <laughs>